Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial on Unity. Um, and I'm going to do a series of videos uh, showing a few interesting things like how to save um, how to save a series of prefabs, uh, how to start aggregating, let's say, a series of prefabs, and then how to start um, saving that data, right? So let's get into it. Um, I'm just going to, I'm starting a new project here, so we could just go quickly and, and create a plane. So I'm hoping that you've seen some of my previous videos. So, so this is not just so new. Um, so you see why we have like a plane, uh, just for the sake of, of making this not look so ugly, I'm gonna just add a direction light. Um, global, there we go. Um, and we're gonna create a cube. Right, uh, this is gonna be our prefab, right? So quickly again, we're gonna just um, maybe create a folder. I, I didn't import anything in this, uh, so we could call these prefabs, right? Um, and basically here, we could create a prefab, right? So we're gonna call it Q, or like, doesn't matter, right? Um, so this guy, we could add a uh, physics rigid body. So it kind of falls when we instantiate it, right? So very straightforward. And then we can delete this guy. So we have our prefab. Uh, we see that if we play the game, you know, it's just false. Very simple, right? So we want to. What we want to do is just uh, create a bunch of these guys um, randomly um, somewhere in the screen. Uh, or basically, if we press C, like some sort of key in the keyboard, we can just create a bunch of cubes. And then whatever kind of uh, aggregation that we're getting, we, we would like to save that. And I'm going to be using a, a package that uh, from a guy I met uh, here in London, um, Mike Talbot, um, has a really great package called Unity Serializer to save the game very quickly. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. So let's do, um, I like working with a game manager. So what we're going to do is create a empty game object that we're going to call uh, game manager. Right, so this is going to be our empty game object, and this guy is going to have. A, let's create um, a folder of scripts. Right, so scripts, create new JavaScript, and we're going to call create cubes. Right, and this is going to be in our game manager, right? <coughs> Right, so we're ready to uh, start writing some of the code. Um, so here we are in the code of the um, of the game manager, and we're gonna define the object. Um, you see, we're gonna determine the prefab that we're gonna be instantiating. So I can link that there, right? So I'm just saying one variable called game object and basically um, linking that with the prefab that I created, right? So in the update function, I could say if input dot um, get key, let's say get key C for creation. Is that the way you do it? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see if that works. Let's say print, yes, just for the test. Right, so yeah, it's, every time I press C, it's working. So that's the way to just call something to happen with the key press, right? Um, mm -hmm. So what we want to do here, we want to just uh, instantiate one of these cubes, right? So for instantiation, we need um, two um, variables, position, 
print type vector three. That is going to be let's start by saying something like that. So it's going to be in the center, but it's going to be just 10 units in Y. So the rotation is going to be a quaternion. And this is going to be the oops, quaternion identity. And then the variable new object. Um, so new object is going to be from the type game object. And it's going to be instantiate the object in the position with the rotation. Right? I'm pretty sure I have some mistake there. Seems that it's working. Cool. So I'm pressing C and you see that we're kind of creating a bunch of cubes here. Like way too many really. Um, I'm also going to scale a little bit this plane. So, And I think that we could say that maybe. Key press down. So yeah, so that's a bit more sensible. It means that if I press C, right, it's going to create one. There we go. Yeah, it's actually working quite nice. And it's what I love about Unity is that it really just calculating the simulation here and, and then at the same time it's, sure it's allowing me to kind of really kind of move around, right? So you can see the simulation there. But what if I, let's say, want to save this aggregation, right? Um, I would actually, it would be quite tricky. I mean, we, we, we will do it with, um, with these packets that I mentioned, but let's just add a few more lines here. So we could say here, random um, dot range. Maybe minus two comma two. So that, that doesn't work. Yep. So you see, we're kind of creating cubes in random locations. So we have this kind of random aggregations. So we could say one and one, and then also maybe give a little bit of random to the uh, x, I mean, set axis. So we basically are dropping cubes. Um, So let's say I want to just save this, right? Or different instances of my game. And, and because um, the kind of um, tutorials that I've been working on is like the use of Unity for uh, some sort of geometry generation, so generative geometry or like aggregation and things like that, um, this idea of saving the prefabs is quite important because potentially you could just export either the prefabs or the mesh to kind of a, another package, right? Um, and render it or things like that. So let's save it. Uh, I'm going to be calling here the Unity Asset Store to show you this package that I'm going to be using, which is free. So uh, we shouldn't have a problem there. Um, so I'm going to wait for the Asset Store to connect. Here we go. So Unity Serializer. So here we have it. Um, so Unity Serializer, and I'm going to import the package. And I'm going to say, OK. And you can find videos from Mike Talbot, who has an amazing uh, website online called Unity Gems as well. Um, 
Oh, there we go. We have um, imported the Unity Serializer. Um, so you see we have it here. Um, and let's kind of get started with it. So I'm going to just call the wizard first and then I'm going to just place this guy here. And what I'm going to do is just with these wizards is create a new save game manager. So this save game manager, it's going to um, deal with saving the game, right? So I'm going to create that save game manager. I have it here. <coughs> the other thing that we need here, you've seen that now like uh, there's been a series of things brought by Unity Serializer, right? So um, there's one script, there's some scripts here, and one of the scripts is um, pause menu, right? So there's a pause menu um, in this, uh, in here, and we could actually um, drop this pause menu to the main camera, right? So let's see what we have so far. Um, this pause menu will actually allow me, and it's saying here, press P to pause the game, right? And it will allow me, if I press P, press it back again and back in the game, it's gonna show this. If you wanna see it bigger, we could just maximize this and play. So now you can see if I press P, I get this save game. Um, so I could save the game, but if we save the game, nothing's gonna happen really, because our save game manager is not tracking anything at this point. Um, what we wanna say is just, in my case, I mean, we could be saving all sorts of things, data of objects um, and all sorts of things. But I want to just make sure that I'm following my prefab. Because the prefab that we're kind of instantiating is the one that it's going to, that's what I'm interested in saving. If I'm building something like a, like some sort of cave or geometry or something like that, like in Minecraft, maybe I want to save what I've done to take it somewhere else. So um, let's just click on this prefab and we should have in this area here uh, a prefab identifier, right? So we're gonna say, okay, keep track of this prefab. This is what this button is saying. And that's it, right? So this prefab is being recorded now um, by the Unity Serializer. So let's just remove that, uh, maximize so we can see what happens. So if I create, one cube now we see that we have this uh, little icon here right so this icon is showing me oh this guy is being tracked by our save manager um, and that's great so let's press p and say okay i want to save the game at this point and you see that your game has been saved at this point i can go back and i can create more cubes by pressing c and you see that some of them maybe i want to be very precise and start building something and try to make like the largest tower possible or something like that, whatever. Um, so let's say I'm interested in that formation, right? So I'm gonna click here and save the game again, right? And that's great. Um, but I'm gonna stop the game and obviously all those kind of objects disappear. Uh, the cool thing is that now if I kind of play the game again and I press P, you see that I have my games saved still. So this is kind of, as much as you continue playing um, a second time, this is a saved data, right? So if I kind of click on this one, this was the last saved version and you see that it's, it goes back to what I had before. And if I press this one, it's going back to the first version. So in any of those cases, I could just continue like creating more cubes, but then maybe just decide, oh no, I just want to go back to this one, right? So yeah, basically we've saved the aggregations and all the physics calculation and the positioning of these kind of prefabs in space has been recorded, right? So that's um, very useful. Um, and yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, Unity Serializer, um, Mike Talbot's work, really good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.